Henry Tyndale School is a special school for children with severe and complex learning difficulties. We've got about 120 children here, typically in classes, about nine children in a class with a teacher and four assistants. And some from Dell came to speak to us to, to try and talk about what might be most useful for our kids rather than just giving us um, standard equipment that might be used in a mainstream school. We work with some of our children at a multi-sensory level, so twice a week we have these special sessions in the hall where we pick a, perhaps a story or a theme and the children work through it um, trying to stimulate all their senses. It's, it's very easy uh, as a child where some of your senses don't work very well to disengage, to not be very interested or stimulated by what goes on around. So I think you have to be larger than life if you're working with kids like this. Some of our youngsters here are able to communicate traditionally. Others are incapable of producing speech and we look at alternative ways to do that. And IT has been really helpful with that for us. At Hemington Dell School we have a variety of Dell technologies. We have the new Dell multi-touch screens and we also have Dell Optiplex and Dell Latitude machines with Intel Core processors. We also have a Dell Powerage server which was put in in part of the HSS school's installation. We can use the switches to help the children learn the idea of cause and effect and that they have some control of their environment. So for example, a, a child who, who really liked a, a radio sound, or, or in this case a fan, can hit the switch in whichever way they can, with their hand or uh, head or however they can reach it, and, and they can get the reward of having the, the fan then blowing at them, and it's, uh, that can be set up to a timer so that it would cease after 20 seconds, and they're required to do that again. It's a really good thing for, for children at early levels of development to understand they've got that control. And uh, we also use uh, multi-touch monitors so that the children can actually touch something and the reaction, the reward, is straight away there where they've touched. The children use the Dell laptops to access things like PowerPoint books with their favourite books scanned in with audio clips and they can turn the pages of the book using switches which is something they couldn't do with a paper book. We've got a range of tablets in school. These are used in a variety of ways. Sometimes they're used as communication devices, so the children can type in their choices on, on using the touch screen and it will speak for them so they can convey their wants and needs. And also we use them because they can be mounted onto wheelchair trays at specific angles that make them accessible for children. So we've got a, a younger child here using a, a, a typical activity really for young children learning about number, there's songs involved, numbers, visual images that are very exciting. Henry's finding this uh, more interesting and stimulating than he would do, but equally he's able to learn a bit more independently. We've got a lad here working on a, a literacy programme. Um, Luke is, is answering questions on this programme and also it's helping him write a, a sentence. Um, a, a young man has learnt to read and write much more slowly than might normally happen, but this has helped keep his motivation up for much longer, much more interesting. I think technology really motivates the children because they have so little control in their lives that to have control over a computer by any means, switches, touch screens, has really, really empowered them. It is exciting the difference that technology can make. Um, as, a, as a head I can see that through the school in ways that weren't possible when I was a classroom teacher. Uh, there, are, there are simple things where a lad with a communication aid who regularly went out with the class on trips and the first time we were able to use the communication aid he actually told us that he, he liked to eat something other than what we always thought he ate and he chose a different meal and it sounds really simple but he was able to, to make that choice and let us know purely because he could see a, a menu of options on a screen and scroll through and click the one he wanted but generally there are some children who just couldn't communicate without technology 